In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about CloudLens Public. So what we're going to do is we're going to access our CloudLens Public portal. We're going to create a new project called CloudLens Demo Project. And we're going to log in back into our EC2 instance that we created in video one and where we installed our Docker container and Docker engine in video two. And we're going to launch that container with a specific project key that gets created when we create the CloudLens Demo Project then we're going to verify that the instance that we launched and the container that we start running gets associated with the correct project so this is our cloudland sandbox portal so let me log in into the cloudland sandbox portal okay i'm logging into my cloudland sandbox portal so by default, there are no projects right now. So let me go ahead and first create a project and I want to call this the CloudLens demo project. Uh, let me just give a description sample project. Okay. So now this is creating the project. Takes a few seconds to create a project. Okay. Project has been created. So let's log in into the project and we see that we don't have any instances and it's associated with the project key. So what we need to do is when we launch our XCA container, which is running in the EC2 instance, we will launch it with this particular project key. So now we are back at, uh, at our EC2 instance. So we checked, downloaded the images, the latest image is already running. So let's look at the command that we want to start our container with so this is the command that you can use to run the docker container which is basically docker and docker run followed by a list of parameters this information is also available as part of the wizard if we use the cloudlens wizard uh, go through a project wizard it automatically gives you that information so here i need to pass the api key so let me go back here and pull this in information. Let me copy the project key and let me paste that in here. And now my Docker container has started. So to see if my container has started correctly or not, I do a Docker PS. So now if you see, this is my container ID and it's created nine, sec nine seconds ago and it's been up for the past eight seconds. So let's do another Docker PS just to make sure everything is fine it's running up and running so now let's lo see go back to our cloudlands portal and see what happens there now when i refresh it in a few seconds you should see it reflecting here so if you already see that it's that of one instance is already available so now let's go in and take a look at this particular instance so when we click on the instance so it's loading all the information about that instance so now if we see that it gives us information about the instance ID, what is the host name, what type of instance that we created, um, what availability zone it's, it's created in, then who created it, pretty much all the information about that particular instance is readily available here. And this basically allows me to create my filters based on any of these tags or any of the information that's available here for me. So what we did in this video was we just launched uh, an instance and we launched a container within that instance and we made sure that that particular instance gets associated with this project. Now, if we close this, we can see that, uh, let's refresh this once to see that there's one, one instance which got created there. And I can basically go back to my uh, portal here and I can define my source groups and destination groups as in when I create more instances. So um, in the next video, what I'm going to show is how can we automate this entire process? The whole thing that whatever I did manually uh, in the last couple of videos where I've launched an instance, launched my Docker container, launched my Docker engine, all those can be automated and we can dynamically launch an instance along with the project key and we can push all the information automatically into this. So let's see that in the next video.